Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and today I am here with packs of 1993 Fleer baseball cards, a set I like very much. But it don't help me with curveball. So, see what we can get in here. In these terrible seller packs, but really nicely designed cards. Uh, even if they are UV glossy coated. Let's see what in the very first one. Is our boy here, Tom Glavin, right on the pack. Very nice card there. Travis Fryman. Also not a bad card back in the day, but never quite sustained that momentum. It's a while there where Derek May was a good player. I remember seeing him in Iowa when I was growing up. The Iowa Cubs. Lee Smith, you know, kind of an underrated player there. Lots of good... Saves for that guy. 919 saves through 1991. Pretty darn good. And whatever happened to that guy? Let's find out what happened to Lee Smith. One of those guys I never, I felt like never had a lot of like dedicated Lee Smith fans, at least that I knew. But just a solid performer and player over and over again. Darren Dalton, a round tripper. Joe Carter, World Series hero for the Blue Jays. Paul O'Neill, look at that. Right before a Tom Glavin insert card. Career highlights for Tom Glavin. This is the number two card in the insert set. That's a nice one. I wonder if by the time I finish up this box, I'll have, I'll have all of them or just some of them. I've already opened a couple of them already. So, and this one is really, no one tampered with this one, that's for sure. It's tamper-proof packaging. But it was really worried about tamper-proof packaging back in 1993. For these mass-produced cards that were, they made five million of each one of them. <laughs> There's Tony Gwynn. Bernie Williams with his Dwight Schrute glasses. I, I I laugh, but I had those exact same glasses in 1993. So there's that. Roger Clemens, what a good pack this is. Look at that smug look on his face. Oh, that was like an earthquake disaster. That was just me bumping, trying to get through this tamper-proof packaging, bumping the camera. I blame that one on Fleer. There's Edgar Martinez. Nice card there. I really just like the design of these cards, the front and the back. That's why I kind of pause so long on each of these that I flip over. David Mead, who we learned about in the previous um, video. Ended up on the Rockies after this, I believe. I, feel like I need to get like a razor blade for these packs. Oh, well, what, what'd you get today? Oh, I watched Ben struggle to open baseball cards from 1993 uh, for hours there we go Ron Gant important member of that Braves team there's Mark McGuire mullet and all Cal Eldred he played for the Iowa Hawkeyes University of Iowa baseball team Larry Walker nice card there and booyah, what do we got here? Mark Grace, one of my personal favorites. We'll add him to my collection. Mark Grace cards. Very nice. And look, Juan Gonzalez. Also a nice card. This is just a nice, nice round of opening here. I gotta tell you, sometimes you strike out and sometimes you just hit on all cylinders. So super happy with this so far. 
Got a lot of stars here. I'm Mark Grace. Let's see if we can pull out a Sean Dunstan, Ryan Sanders, and Nolan Ryan out of here, too. That would just make it the best of the best. Of course, this is only Series 1, so those guys might not even be in Series 1. Oh, looks like we got an insert. Let's see what it is. The anticipation is killing me. Not really. Jim Abbott, before we head off to the Yankees. Kenny Lofton, league leader for stolen bases. Roberto Alamo, Chuck Knobloch, and Carlos Baerga, superstar special. And we have a Jesse Levis, Major League Prospects. He sure turned out to be an amazing Major League Prospect by not ever doing anything. Sorry, Jesse. Look, Tim Salmon, I think that's a rookie card, right? Yep, Tim Salmon rookie card. I'll take that one for sure. Come on, Ben, you can do it. You can be just like your baseball heroes. All you have to do is open this pack of cards. There we go. Man. All right, starting to slow down here in terms of finding good cards, but there's Dave Winfield, back half his, his career. Angels, then the Blue Jays, and then this is, just look here. Yep, 2,866 hits there. Almost to his 3,000, which he did make, by the way. He's in rare company with that 3,000 hit mark. Not a lot of players can claim that one. Actually, 3,000 hits plus 432 home runs at this point. I think he made 500 home runs, if I'm not mistaken, which is really rare, rarefied air. For, like, oh, look at this, Sean Dunstan! Dun, 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 Coming off his injury-shortened season. season. So look at that. Two for my collection there. It's just a pretty darn good session. These are the sessions you dream about. Fred McGriff and Scott Livingstone. All right. So really good cards there. Good superstars, a couple from my collection. And we'll take a look at Lee Smith, the uh, save master. There he is. Played 18 years in the bigs. Dominant closer. Held the major league record for career saves from 93 until 2006 when Trevor Hoffman beat it. Well, he's a Hall of Famer. There you go. Hall of Famer in 2019. So, pitching over 1,000 games, 303 ERA, which is fantastic. 1,200 strikeouts and 478 saves. Played for half the teams in the league. Seven-time All-Star, three-time Relief Man Award, four-time Save Leader, and the Cubs Hall of Fame, and the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Worked out of the pitching instructor in minor league baseball for the Giants. Pitching coach for the South African national team in the World Baseball Classic. Look at that. Let's just jump to post your time a little bit. Pitching instructor. Baseball classic. And has three children from a previous marriage. Uh, from his current marriage, he has an additional three children. So six kids. Yeah, 2005, it's Carter Smith. It's a long shot for election. So a lot of information about his Hall of Fame balloting. So he never quite got anywhere near the required 
for induction in his 10 in his 15 years available but then the today's game committee brought him in along with uh, with Harold Baines so there you go so Lee Smith I actually wasn't aware that he was a Hall of Famer but good for you man I'm glad you got your due what a long Successful career in the bigs, plus you wore sh shoes that really, really match your uniform. Nice job, Lee, and the rest of you. I'll see you next time.